so uh, sure you're not mad at me for not sailing your boat back from St. Lisa's Island like I said I would? Stop it, Luis. If that was anyone's fault, it was mine, okay? For going down there and telling you about your sister's marriage to Julian Crane. Yeah. Okay. So we're even. Like, I'm just sorry that you gotta face someone else to bring your boat back. And I hope they're not charging you an arm and a leg. It's okay. I can handle it. Besides, you're the one that's gonna have to cough up the big bucks when they get here. <laughs> don't forget, you have to take them to dinner, okay? I don't mind. I'm actually looking forward to talking to people from St. Lisa's Island. It's a strange place. Yeah, because it reminds you of Sheridan. It didn't just remind me of her. It was like this. She was there. It was like, you know, I expected to turn around in the right corner and she'd be standing there. And... Yeah. Can I just get over it, right? No, she's dead. I'm so sorry. You know, my mother thinks if I just pray hard enough for a miracle, it'll happen. You mean she thinks that Sheridan could actually come back to you? Yeah. Because I told her I heard Sheridan's voice on the phone. I, I don't understand. She thought she heard Antonio. Your, your brother who left home years ago? Yeah. So when I got on the line, it wasn't him. It was Sheridan. We got disconnected before we could have a conversation. So I called the operator and she gave me the number. I called it back. What happened? I don't answer. You know, it's like my head's telling me one thing, and my heart's telling me another. I just can't stop hoping that she's still alive and that she's gonna come back to me. stuff on you. Why not? Come on, we go way back, Luis. Besides, it's the holidays, right? Yeah. Everyone's feeling everything much more intensely right now. Mijo, no! What was that? Sounds like someone's fighting in the house. Hank, Charity probably never even kissed a guy before she met Miguel. Yeah, well, you wouldn't know by the way she kissed me. What? All right, calm down, Luis. Going after Hank's not going to solve anything. There's got to be an explanation here. Yes, Beth is right, Luis. We all know that Charity is of pure heart. The most innocent of young women. Look, I'm sorry. I don't mean to put Charity down, but it's true. Right. Yeah, I've been around the block a few times. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the way that girl kissed me wasn't even close to innocent. I don't get it. I don't either. But we have to stay out of it and let them work things out on their own, Luis. Yep. Just hope they do. Are you making flan now? Why not? You've always loved it. Yep. We all know it was Antonio's favorite food in the world, too. While you're making a Christmas feast of all his favorite foods, uh, he's never coming home. Please, I really... please, Luis, do not say that. He will. And I will continue to act as if it will happen. And you of all people should understand. Because your heart will not let you give up on Sheridan any more than I will let my heart forget about Antonio. So let's hold on to our slender hopes, because they are the only thing we have left of the people we love. Is everything all right? I owe you an apology, Hank. I'm sorry for jumping all over you like that. No problem. Apology accepted. Well, you know, you could all help me finish the Christmas decorations in the living room. We'd love to help Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. 
Hang on a second, bro. Look, don't make me feel any worse than I already do. All right? I apologize hey, to Hank. Hey, hey. I wasn't going to jump on you for what you did to Hank. I probably would have done the same thing if I thought some guy was taking advantage of the woman I loved. Even someone as close to the family as Hank. Heck, look, I'd probably knock my own brother in the next week if I thought he was taking advantage of the woman I loved, all right? Maybe my mom's right. You gotta believe to make miracles happen. Well, if there's any chance that Sheridan's out there, bring her back to me. Please, bring her home. <laughs>